Hey guys, it is Danny, and we have officially entered into spring. So I wanted to take this time of the year and focus on all things green. So I sent you guys an email some time back. I put it on social media, put it in my newsletter, and I asked you guys, what would you rather see? Would you rather see a series based on green juices and smoothies or a series based on salads and salad dressings? And naturally, you guys were split right down the middle. So I have decided to take the entire month of April and do a series based on all things green and things that support green things like salad dressings. And I want these recipes to be recipes that will support people who naturally are wanting to cleanse and detox this time of the year because it's a very natural desire when spring comes up. Now, I'm going to be calling this series Clean and Green with Danny, and I want us all to be photographing and sharing all of those greens on Instagram and on Facebook throughout the month so we can stay connected. So hashtag Clean and Green with Danny, post those photos so we can all be connected and supporting each other throughout the month of April. Now, with that being said, I also wanted to talk a little bit about the clean and delicious approach to cleansing and detoxing. Um, after spending many, many years, as many of you know, on and off of diets, queen yo-yo dieter in the house, I no longer like or enjoy anything that has very strict food rules. No matter how well intended they are, if it comes with a long set of rules, I tend to say, thanks, but no thanks. So oftentimes you will see cleanses and detoxes that have a long list of things to eliminate and a long list of things to incorporate. So what I like to do instead is to focus on things that I want to incorporate in my life and minimize some of the things that I know don't serve me so well. So for instance, I am in a habit of getting out of bed and beelining it straight to the coffee pot and then oftentimes I'll have another cup of coffee throughout the day. And I know it's a little too much for my body. My body doesn't love it, but my mind really likes it. So I am going to interrupt that habit, break the pattern, and I'm gonna start my day with the hot lemon water. Now, I do not tell myself that I'm not allowed to have coffee. What I do is say, you can have coffee, you can have it whenever you want throughout the day, but we're just going to start the day with the hot lemon water. And what I find is just by breaking that pattern and creating a little bit of space for myself, that there are many a days when I don't even want the coffee. And I think by giving yourself permission to have it or not have it, then you can really ask yourself if you want it. So again, break the habit, create a little space, and then decide what you want to do from there. Another thing that I plan on focusing for the month of April is basing two of my meals um, around dark leafy greens. Now for me, what that usually will look like is some type of smoothie for breakfast and I'll put some fresh kale or spinach into the smoothie and then some type of salad for lunch. Now I love eating dark leafy greens, but sometimes you just fall out of the habit and I'm just not thinking about it. So I'm gonna really be mindful and incorporate that into my diet. And what I find is, is that when I start incorporating more of these high quality nutrient dense foods into my diet, that my body actually starts craving more of them and I look for them, I want them, and some of the things that don't serve me so well naturally start to fall away. Now, what I want you to notice here is that I do not aim for perfection. That is not the name of the game for me. So if I have a day where I don't get two of those meals in, I don't make a big deal about it. I don't beat myself up for it, but I do stay curious. I, I try to notice why. Is it just that I didn't prepare my meals? Was I having a certain craving for something else and why? So I stay curious and I try to use it as a learning experience, but without those strict rules of you're not allowed to do this and you're not allowed to do that because that just doesn't feel good for me. So that is my approach to cleansing and detoxing. And just for the record, you could do this with habits as well. It doesn't just have to be food. Like for instance, I also like to practice saying, I'm gonna take one meal of my day and make sure that I eat it sitting down. Because as any of your moms out there know, we can eat a lot of meals on the go, on our feet, in the car, etc. So taking one meal a day to create more mindfulness and pleasure around that meal. So those are my intentions for the month of April with my cleansing and detoxing. And I'm really curious to hear what yours are. Do you like to do any type of cleanse or detox this time of year? What type of, um, what type of habits or foods do you like to incorporate or maybe minimize this time of year? I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments below. Let's share and chat. And don't forget this entire month is going to be um, committed to those greens. So we're gonna stay connected throughout the month by using the hashtag clean and green with Danny on Instagram and Facebook. If you're eating anything that I make or if you're coming up with recipes of your own, take a picture, hashtag it, and let's all support each other all throughout the month.
I'm gonna be back in a couple days and I'm gonna share my formula for making a delicious green juice, plus I'll be sharing three of my favorite recipes with you guys. So I will see you then. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Cheers.